Welcome, in front of me is Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, with that being said, um, performing such a reset will allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. Uh, I will be going to the process from the lock screen as though I don't know my screen lock and this will vary a little bit if you know your screen lock compared to if you don't. If you know your screen lock, all you need to do is just swipe down, press the power button, power off, power off and then draw the pattern or pin, password, whatever you have to turn off your phone. Uh, for people that don't know the screen lock, what you'd do is uh, you will need to hold power button and volume down till the screen turns off and from there you're gonna switch to power button volume up. Now for both of those we need to have our device plugged in. Now uh, there is a subtle difference between the um, knowing the code and not. So when you select the power off right here you will have a Samsung logo once you confirm that and when that Samsung logo disappears you want to hold power button volume up. Uh, now, for the people, like I said, that don't know, we're going to hold power button volume down first. Now, you do want to interact with the display so you can see when it actually will time off. So once it turns off, and right about now, there we go, switch to volume up. And this is basically as though you now know the pattern in a way. So we're doing the same thing as the people that turned off the phone normally. And in a second, you will see Samsung logo. a moment there we go and wait for the galaxy there we go at which point you can let go of the power button but keep holding volume up and this takes us to the recovery mode well in this mode we can get rid of a cable as it's only needed to actually get us into the recovery mode and there's no other purpose for it other than just to annoy us uh, and well in this mode you will want to use volume buttons to navigate down and select wipe data factory reset Confirm it with the power button, then select factory data reset. Confirm that. At the bottom you'll see data wipe complete and reboot system now will be selected by default. So press power button once again to confirm that, which will reboot the device and continue resetting it in the background. Now, Because it is continuing the reset right now, it will take the device a little bit longer to boot back up. This is completely normal. Once it's finished, we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your phone however you like. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.